Association, our Cambridge Provincial President, Anouke Benkole, wanted to be here this evening to speak, but was unable to attend, and she sincerely sends her regrets that she could not be here. The issue that we're talking about is of great importance because, the people in the com of, the, because of the people, all the people in the community that it affects. It can impact the low-income earners who are in need of the affordable housing. It can impact the middle class who have income properties. It can impact the community as a whole. High-income earners and businesses looking for areas to invest in, are they going to be coming to invest in Cambridge? The NDP is committed to finding these solutions to make sure that there is affordable housing, to help in making small businesses succeed, and in making Cambridge a city that companies want to invest in, and making sure that everyone in our community has that voice. And I just want to switch gears a little bit and speak on a bit of a, a more personal note. Um, as a realtor and a citizen of the community, to me this issue is very important. And I think you have to look at both the individual situations and the big picture of the possible effects. Um, when you're making a landlord responsible for a tenant's delinquent water bill. In our community here in Cambridge, there are a lot of working folks who own investment properties. These mom and pop rental units, as I like to call them, they're not big business ventures. These investments are their pension plan, so to speak. These investments are their futures and there's a lot of landlords here. It's your future that we're talking about. <coughs> it's these mom and pop rental units that make up a significant portion of the affordable housing in this community. And like any business venture, there are those ups and downs. <coughs> there are times when everyone is paying rent and landlords have no worries about making the next mortgage payment. But there are also those times when the rent is behind or it doesn't come at all. These owners still have to make these mortgage payments on their investments, and they do so understanding that this is part of the downside of this type of investment. Now you tack on someone else's water bill, and things now just get a little tougher for mom and pop. Now maybe money that was going to be directed on putting a new roof on that unit will have to wait. Maybe the new paint job that was going to spruce up the apartment can't be done now. Now landlords will have to raise rents considerably on the next new tenant to cover the cost of water bills. Now what was affordable housing just got a little less so. Landlords may start to have to look at tenants in a different way. The single mom with three kids doesn't look like such a good tenant on the rental ap application now because her family will use a lot more water than the single fellow. To me that's a real possibility the loss of families wanting to invest in our community, the loss of affordable housing, good tenants not being able to find good housing, mom and pop not being able to invest for their future in real property. This could create a much weaker community for us, and to me this is what we're all fighting for, and this is why we're all here tonight. We're fighting to protect our community and to make it better, and we need to all work together to make that happen. Thank you.